Well, we have been married 50 years, and people often ask me uh, how we lasted that long. I say, I stay gone. And I'm gone now, and he's still at the house. <laughs> but he's watching me on TV. He's proud of me. I'm going to marry him again. I love him so much on our anniversary. <laughs> well, uh, I had not met her. And I had heard her say real nice things about me. She brought a bunch of friends to Dollywood, and I was real tickled about that. We couldn't have bought that kind of advertisement. So that was all good. And when we saw each other, I knew she uh, liked my music, and I was real touched by that. Plus, she's great. My nieces and nephews, my younger ones, they just think she hung the moon. So when we met, well, we just squealed like little girls do, and uh, it was fun. So we had a good time this week. We really, you know, I, I think everybody thought we was going to get naked or do some twerking or something, I don't know, or whatever they call it. I mean, everybody kept thinking, well, it's Dolly and Katie. I thought, well, what can we do? You know, she just wanted to sing some of my songs, and so she picked the ones she wanted to sing with me, and that was great. But we just, when we were just rehearsing, you know, we just did that on, you know, just that, and then we did, and then we just turned around. We just, we just thought it would be fun, and that was just in rehearsal. And so tonight, it just came back to us. You know, I looked at her, and she looked at me, and, and we knew what that meant. It's like, shall we? So that was cute. Yeah, I have thought about singing with some men, you know, but I had thought about that. Well, actually, some girls really did, we did, they did a tribute of some of my songs years ago, but I actually wasn't, you know, singing that much with them. But I would love to do that. I think that would be great, be a big seller. I, I'm just not selling that many records these days, and they are, so I, I guess I just never really thought that much about it. But maybe that's how I could sell more records, just get them girls and hang on to their dress tails, <laughs> them little short dress tails. <laughs> Lord, my first trip, I don't even remember when that was. I used to work here years ago. I, I used to work at different places around here, different casinos. and But it was always fun. I can't honestly say exactly what year that was. I just remember the first time I saw it, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was at night, and you know how this place looks with all those lights? I thought I'd died and go to fairyland. <laughs> it really makes me feel good, because you never know when you start out in the business uh, if you're even going to make it. And then, as you get about midways and you see that you are going to make it, then you wonder what you might be like when you're older and what how people will think of you, and if you've left a good you know, legacy and all that, but it makes me feel real proud to think I might have done something right, and I'm very touched by all that, that I've been an inspiration, especially to the young ladies in the business coming up, but it it's, makes me feel proud as a songwriter and just uh, somebody that's tried to always keep my mind on my business and be fair to everybody and try to do what I love to do, so it's a, it's a nice thing. <laughs>